what Dr. Ernest was asking was that if you have a levodopa resistant tremor, so if you have a very tremor predominant Parkinson's and you give them levodopa, you go to a good dose, four or 600 milligram a day, and you still don't see enough benefit, then what do you do? So um, Ernest, there are few things you can do. You can use um, tremor medications that are for not for Parkinson's. So my favorite drug to go is primidone. Uh, I use primidone, mycelin, it's called in some old and labeled uh, uh, medication. Primidone is my favorite go-to drug for these patients and they often respond, I will say 80% of them. It used to be the treatment before levodopa. Primidone, older drug. Uh, and you know, in the countries where there was no levodopa, primidone was the treatment of choice. I actually, when I started as a resident, many old neurologists were still using primidone as the first choice for Parkinson's tremor and not levodopa. So primidone is a good one. You can also use propranolol. You can use uh, trihexpanidil, artane. It's called in some countries. You can use that. And if the medications are not working, then the option is surgery. You can do uh, telemotomy. Uh, you can do uh, DBS with BIM. You can do focus ultrasound. Uh, and that will treat the tremor very effectively. Uh, in, um, in DBS, we'll discuss this a little bit more, uh, but there is, um, uh, but in general, the answer is that you can try other tremor medication and then you can consider surgical treatment for the tremor. And then uh, I have sometimes tried going up on a very high dose for levodopa to see if that helps with the tremor, but it's not worth it. The response is small and the side effects are just too many. And that's why I try avoiding going up too high uh, on levodopa just to chase the tremor.